Well, hi everyone. It's Kim, your favorite Tupperware lady, and I'm going to show you how to use the stack cooker to make a meal in about 15 minutes. How many of you would like to make a meal in 15 minutes? I did do some prep work. Um, I've already cooked my hamburger meat, and you can check out the video on how I cook hamburger meat and how I grind it up. So down in the bottom of my stack cooker, I am going to put, oops, Okay, so in the bottom of my stack cooker, I had to heat the water up, I'm going to put, I have a half a cup of quick cooking rice, I have, a, I have some chili powder, and some chicken bouillon, and then to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of hot water, okay? My tap water is pretty hot. And I'm actually going to cover this up and stick it in the microwave for three minutes. Okay, so our rice is done. If you like onions and peppers, you can add some of those to this. All right, so in here, we just want to give this a stir. And we are going to add a can of chili beans. Okay, I opened all my cans early using my can opener, and so if you want to see the best can opener ever, look for that video. Okay, so chili beans with rice. And then of course you need some cheese. Now I have some, I have some Monterey Jack. I just shredded this and then on the bottom I forgot to mix it up on the bottom I have some cheddar okay it wouldn't be a Mexican dish without cheese all right there we go now in the middle we're gonna do our enchilada casserole and so I'm using the uh, one and three fourths quart I just take corn tortillas, it says to cut them up, but I just tear them up, like so. And I have my ground beef that I have ground up in my chopper. And then I'm going to add the corn tortillas. And I like, hold on. Alrighty. If your can doesn't cooperate, it does have a little buck tooth here, and all you have to do is lift it up. Alright, so I'm using a can of red, and I'm going to use a can of green, because I just like that combination. Um, I usually do two pounds of hamburger meat, but I only did just over one this time. I think it'll be okay. Might be a little soupy because I did add extra enchilada sauce. The recipe actually only calls for one, one can. Okay, and then we need some more cheese. All right, and you want to measure your cheese very precisely. Okay, here we go. All right. Now on the top, oh, I forgot to wipe this off. Okay, on the top, we're gonna do a dessert. And honestly, my, my girls grew up with this because it was something that they would eat, something that my youngest actually still makes without the recipe and so I've just got two apples that I sliced up and I've had them sitting here in some lemon water so they don't turn brown all right so there we go and then 
hold on, let me look at the recipe because I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. This is my original fat cook cookbook. Okay. All right. So we are going to, I have some caramel ice cream topping. And we're going to water that down a little bit. Oops. And I did add a little bit more because, you know, how could that be a hard, how could that be a bad thing? Right? Okay. So there's our caramel topping. And then to this, I'm going to add some water and some lemon juice. And I'm going to stir that up to just kind of water that uh, that caramel down, thin it out a bit so it doesn't burn and it'll go a lot further this way. Okay. All right. So we're just going to take this. There we go. It's all nicely mixed. We're going to take this and we're just going to dump it over our apples like so. And I'm using one of the vintage Wonderlier balls because I just love these sizes and the shape is great. So those are in the catalog now um, in vintage pastel colors. Okay, so there's that. And then in here, we're going to take, I have two tablespoons of softened butter. I have a, how much do I have in here? A third of a cup of flour and some cinnamon and some sugar. It, it, it actually called for sugar. I wound up using brown sugar, but I really don't think it's going to matter. And then we're just going to mix this together. And this is going to be our crumble. Okay, so I finished mixing this up into a crumble. All right. I'm just going to put this on top of our apples. This is for my family, so I don't mind getting my hands in it. My husband will be okay with that. All right. So I'm going to put this whole thing in the microwave for 15 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so here we are. Cooked for 15 minutes. It's sat in the microwave for five. All right, here's our dessert, our caramel apple streusel. Here is our enchilada casserole. And our chili beans with rice. And so I'm just going to make a plate for my husband because he's starving. Okay, well, I guess I added a, like, a little bit of extra cheese. There we go. Um, oh, but I wanted to show you that the apples are nice and tender. Okay. Anyway, it's a nice, quick way to make a good dinner. And I will post the recipe. Bye-bye.